Hey, 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 what's popping, everyone? How's your day? Good? Bad? Well, it doesn't matter anymore because you're about to have your ears blown off due to straight knowledge I'm about to spit. Would you believe me if I told you that there is a Forgotten Perfect trilogy out there in the world? Is it Jason Bourne? I hear you ask. First off, there's five movies and a show, dummy. Second, I don't think it's even a perfect series anyways. I only like to the first and third movies. No, no, no. I will be going over the rebooted series known as Rise of Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War of the Planet of the Apes. This is the perfect forgotten trilogy. But first, before we get started, make sure to subscribe, please. Let us begin! The Rise of Planet of the Apes is probably the best out of the three story-wise. It starts out with Harry Osborn talking about his brand new treatment for people with Alzheimer's disease. To see if it worked, he tested out on the chimp monkey, since their brains are similar to humans. Fun fact, apes are actually one of the smartest animals in the world next to humans, elephants, and dolphins. Yep, dolphins. The chimp that Harry tested got so smart that one day it figured out how to break out of the lab. In all the chaos, the, the monkey, the monkey dies. Left behind a little baby. The main character of our story, Caesar. Harry feels bad for little Caesars, so he, he takes him in and raises him. Life good. For five years, that is. Well, he's cared for by Harry, and every once in a while he goes to the Redwoods to, you know, climb around, get around, get some energy out. Since Caesar is getting more, I don't know, rebellious, he gets put on a leash so he doesn't run off. He sees a dog also tied up to a leash and then he questions, Who am I? What is this place? What are we doing here? Just a sufferer. Also during this, Caesar also becomes smarter and smarter because he inherited the genes of his mother. So he's also a big brain. So he's like learning human concepts like sign language so he can communicate with Harry. So one day he asks Harry, Yo man, where did I come from? Where do I go? And then that's when Harry finally explains to Caesar what all happened with his mom and stuff like that. Out of this, uh, Caesar like kind of, you know, starts questioning himself again and attacks the guy. So he gets put to the monkey pound. For, uh, in the monkey pound, he befriends another chimp named Rocket and an orangutan named Maurice. Caesar then breaks out and steals more of the stuff that made him big brain to give it to the other chimps and apes. They all soon break out, all of the monkeys do and cause more chaos as they rush to the Redwoods where he befriends a scarred chimp named Koba. Don't forget that. Fight off the armies and soon make it to the Redwoods where Harry tries to stop him, begging Caesar to come back home, where Caesar says his famous line, Caesar is home. And then the, all the monkeys run away into the Redwoods. The end. Until the next movie! Now you remember that stuff that made the eggs big brain? Well, it leaked into the air. Turns out it's pretty toxic to humans. So there is a worldwide pandemic. Basically what I'm saying is Planet of the Apes is nine years ahead of its time. Ten years later in universe, the chimps ha have made a community in the Redwoods. Until humans find them and try to kill them. It goes on for a day until Caesar makes peace with the humans, which Copa isn't super happy about since he hates humans. He was tortured by the scientists and stuff uh, back at back at the base, you know, back at the science lab. So you know what Copa does? He sneaks into the human base and takes their guns. This scene is actually pretty hilarious, though. It's like, <laughs> so Copa starts his own rogue group of apes called donkeys. I guess he really likes Shrek. So he almost kills Caesar and invades the humans. Caesar is brought back to health by the good humans. So he so he gets up and goes and kills Koba. The humans are ticked off that Koba attacked them and think that all the apes are stupid and dumb and they need to die. So a rogue force comes to kill the apes. Sorry for the super summarize, but this one doesn't really have a lot of story to it or, or much action or anything like that. This is... This is probably the weakest movie of the three, 
But it's still pretty good in my opinion. Like Caesar thinking only humans are corrupt, but Kova proves him wrong, which is a, a great part of the movie where Caesar learns he doesn't, he can't trust every ape. Anyways, time for war. Uh, so Colonel from Metal Gear Solid invades the ape's home base in a cave and he kills Caesar's wife and one of his two sons. Wife gone. In rage, Caesar takes a small team uh, to track down and kill the other colonels before he kills anyone else. This team consists of Rocket, Maurice, and a gorilla named Luka Doncic. So on their travels, they meet a mute girl that Luka and Maurice named Nova. So like they have another run in with the bad guys and they kill Luka. Caesar is now like thirsty for revenge right now where Rocket points out that he's starting to act just like Koba, you jerk. So they rest for a bit until their horses get stolen by Greg Heffley's dad, a chimp named Bad Ape. I can't say that with a straight face. So Bad Ape knows where the base of the humans are, which he calls Human Zoo, because it's a giant fortress that consists of all oh, really only humans left on the face of the earth because just like the COVID-19 virus, it mutates, which is why the girl is mute, because the virus infected her and she can't speak. So Caesar like goes to fight them himself, I guess, and he gets captured like a little idiot. So the boys gotta come bust him out. Which they do, of course, where Caesar gets shot eh, while he's saving the other apes. I would say that it would be interesting if they made a fourth movie about Caesar's son, where he's old enough to lead the apes. Maybe they fight the donkeys? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the Forgotten Trilogy in the comments down below. And let me know if you agree with me or not that this is perfect and that this is a good story. Even though I just recapped it. This is what I'm doing in my life now. Until next time, friends.